Uh, welcome to a new video and in this video I want to show you how you can uh, use your iPhone 30 and uh, do the first uh, like configuration of the iPhone 13. So I have the iPhone 13 Pro here and uh, the quick start guide tells me uh, bring your current iPhone or iPad near this iPhone to sign in set sub so I have the iPhone SE 2020 here and yeah let's bring it close to here and it says okay new iPhone conf want you to want to configure this German setup I say yes and it's now configuring it I have to scan this code and now it will set the language for me also in german if it want if, if i want to i have to type in the pin code of my iphone se 2020 and uh, then it will start configuring the new iphone with the base of this one so activating it and in this case it just says uh, it cannot be activated. Let's try it again. Should be able to connect to Wi Fi from here and should be able to activate it. And then it is probably also copying all the data over to the new iPhone and all the apps over as well. Um, data in terms of uh, yeah, photos and uh, music files and so on. Face ID, so it is working. So let's say face ID. I'm doing the, this is how you do it. So it's a little demonstration. I have to do it off camera, but believe me, it will work out. And first scan did work out. Now I have to do a second scan and second scan also worked out and now Face ID is configured. Switch the language for some reason but uh, now it's in German. Anyway what I can do is like uh, get my data via iCloud or directly from the other iPhone. I say directly from the other iPhone because I probably don't have anything in the iCloud. Uh, as I said I'm not an Apple user, I just have this iPhone SE that I set up the way I want it to be and yeah I have to accept that I'm selling my soul and then it will basically start configuring my Apple ID and pulling all the data from the SE to the new uh, 13 Pro and you can see also I think it was yeah it is blinking a little bit this is one of the sensors in the new notch and uh, this will be a new iPhone and I can configure it uh, yeah let's just like copy all the data over I don't want to have Google uh, Apple Pay in this case and it's doing something here you can see it here only the first time I was doing it here I was like confused a bit but it's doing something so it's not showing any progress here where the buttons are but up there which is a bit weird so I think it is doing something in the background right now and yeah this will take a while but anyway this is how you can set up your new iPhone if you have an old iPhone um, iDrive I don't want to have iCloud Drive so I deactivate it and it's doing something again here and then hopefully finally it will copy over something as you can see here yeah iPhone anal uh, analytics I don't want to share them and now it is uh, copying stuff to the brand new iPhone 13 Pro so this is basically the process that you can expect when you want to switch from an older iPhone like the SE 2020 to newer like the iPhone 13 Pro I think it might be very interesting for some people to know how you can uh, get this done and it's pretty easy as you see so this is uh, very very interesting because it uh, says here that the transfer did succeed and here it is basically rebooting and doing some stuff so yeah this is the process how it looks like
it finally rebooted and if I want to unlock it right now I see already it's using the uh, yeah, it is using the same wallpaper as the uh, iPhone SE so now I don't want to delete this and as you can see here's my setup of all the icons and uh, okay 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 and you can see it just copied over also the setup and it's now downloading the uh, folders and applications that I have on the iPhone SE and as you can see here even the second page looks almost the same but there are some more applications here on the 13 Pro just like for example the Apple Store application clips garage band keynote numbers so the office applications and pages as well what what I don't have here on the 13 of the on the SE probably due to space restrictions I think this is only 64 gigabytes and this has 128 gigabytes so this is the big difference here when it comes to this but any, everything else is like set up the same way you can see here the, the bottom bar as well and uh, top no new messages control center is here it is also using the same control center setup that I have here as you can see here so also with the added record button for screen recording it's just like uh, doing it in a different way and yeah, applications even has I think some applications open that I had opened before here on my uh, SE yeah uh, the applications that are not downloaded yet are not showing up here but in general yeah this is how it works this is how the process works on uh, yeah, copying the data over from your old phone to the new phone um, one interesting thing is let's see I have for example Nextcloud account here what I want to see is um, if it also takes over the account data like my logged in accounts as well that would be pretty awesome I can imagine some applications like Signal for example where they have like an encryption key stored for a specific phone they don't do this but for other applications it might be very interesting so let's see the Amazon stuff is here already let's see if Amazon logs me in directly or I have to log in again uh okay i am logged in so yeah it is saving those credentials for login as well which is pretty cool at least for amazon and some other applications i'm not so sure like for example the calendar and uh, other stuff here where do i have the calendar up there so yeah it has an appointment here so it also gets the appointments i think where do I see the calendars? Yes, it's also telling me here the top one is the Nextcloud, Nextcloud Classic it's called here. Just wanted to type in Nextcloud Kaldaf, but it just <laughs> renamed it to Classic. Either way, I have my Nextcloud uh, also directly in here, so I don't have to rely on iCloud stuff I'm using my Nextcloud, which is working pretty nicely. So this works here. I guess also card stuff, so address book is also working, which is pretty fine. So con taking all the configurations over as well, which is very very cool um, and something that in the Android world it's not always working with all those transfer tools you might saw other transfer tool videos already where this is not the the thing I think only Huawei and um, yeah some others uh, very slim little um, arrangement of tools that allows you to transfer files uh, and configuration files of applications as well so this is really now everything for this video and if you have some questions if you're new to iOS for example like I am pretty new to iOS and the iPhone you can write down some questions and um, of course if you have some tips and tricks what I should try out you can also write it down in the comment section that's everything for this video hope you enjoyed it thanks for watching until next time bye